Okay, this tutorial is for uh, showing how to go, uh, sh doing the effect of how to kind of transition from as if you're on real footage and then you transition outside of a television to show as if it's going through a television. In my timeline here, I've got two shots, basically. Uh, one is just the exterior footage that's going to be inside the television here, just some um, quick pans around. And I apologize for the lower quality footage. I just took this with my phone, so it's uh, nothing big. But if you have a better camera and better lighting, uh, it'll work. But I've got a TV here that I just actually tore up a, a manila envelope and just lightly taped it onto the screen so it doesn't ruin my screen here. Um, and then as the, and you'll see the camera is like close up to the TV, filling up the TV. When you shoot this, it probably should be filling up the TV like this if you do shoot it. And as the camera backs up, so it's filling in the screen there. As the camera backs up, it reveals the entire TV. So you'll be looking at this image here as if it's actual footage, and then it backs out to show that it's inside of a TV. Is going to be the effect that we do here. So I'm going to move that up there. I'm going to kind of get everything to the length that I want here. And I'm going to decide on this footage here as it tilts down. Right about there is where I want it to come out of the TV. So I'm going to pull that back, line it up there. Play back. Let's turn down the opacity just to kind of look at the timing here. You can see it moving out of the TV. And that's long enough right there. So that's going to be my shot right there. So I'm going to cut these down because you don't really want to perform effects on uh, kind of overperform the effects when you can just do uh, the amount that you need to do. So I've got those are the shots. That's the timing that I need. So it's going to play through this portion of the shot here and then suddenly it will come out of the television right about there uh, for the rest of that shot there. So I'm going to um, save my project, right click on this and replace with an After Effects composition. I'm going to save this as After Effects TV effect. Okay, it's uh, sent this over from Premiere. If you go to Premiere, you see it's replaced it with a comp. If you go to After Effects, I've got this shot here for the timing and the <coughs> and the um, TV below it. So I'm going to turn off the top layer here, and I'm going to do a 3D camera tracking layer on the bottom here. 3D camera tracking makes this really, really easy, quite easy. There's a couple little kind of complexities that, that help to know here. I'm going to go to Motion Tracking. Uh, under my workspace, so it shows the motion track over here. We're going to select the bottom shot, and actually, I'm going to name these. I'm going to call this actual TV. That's the actual TV. And this top one is uh, TV footage. So I'm going to rename those so I can keep track of everything. I'm going to select the actual TV, and I'm going to do track camera. Um, so I'm going to let that track, and I'll be back when it's through tracking and. Okay, now that the 3D tracking is done, if you select the footage that you've done the tracking on and uh, go up to its effect and select the 3D camera, it'll show some points that it solved here. You can find kind of the three points and find a region where you've got the target pointing toward the TV. So it looks like it's equal with the plane of the TV here, and that one looks like it's pretty good there. I'm gonna, you gotta find three points. Uh, you can actually draw in the points, or you can uh, just find one that makes it kind of flat like the plane of the television right there. And that one works right there. So I'm going to right click and say create solid and or uh, create solid and camera on that target. And it will create this square here that uh, kind of stays flat with the television screen now. So that's uh, 3D camera tracked and that piece stays flat with the, with the, uh, with the television there. So now I, we can actually, uh, actually I'm going to get rid of this TV footage here. Because I can just go up to the top and grab my TV footage up here. Right there. And you're going to replace it with that solid there. I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to hold, as a, actually, one little trick you got to make sure that you select the, the solid track and it's highlighted. I'm going to grab the movie that I want to replace it with. I'm going to hold down Option, hold it over the track solid, and you'll notice it doesn't do a layer uh, bar there because it's going to replace that track solid as soon as I let go with that, um, with that footage. And there we go. So now you'll notice the footage tracks with the television. Uh, so a couple little things we need to do here, because you'll notice once it goes back to the 3D camera tracker that begins at the beginning of this footage, it just kind of resets the footage. So I'm going to grab this 3D camera tracker and drag it backwards, and it will maintain that spot where it left off of this clip right here as you back up. So now it just stays there, which is nice and convenient. Um, so now what I'm going to do is get this uh, footage and s make it larger so it meets the uh, the size of the television here. So I'm going to select my footage here, uh, arrow down, and we're going to go to transform, and we're going to take the scale and crank it up. And actually, we're going to grab the y axis here, move it up, 
grab the x-axis, move it over. We're going to keep the z-axis, the depth, exactly the same. Um, right there and there. And we're going to scale that up a little bit more. We're going to make it just a little bit larger than the television. It's not quite the same size as the television, so we're going to make it a little bit larger so it goes outside the uh, the size of the television here. And we can actually stretch it a little bit if we want to. Actually, I don't want to stretch the aspect ratio, so I'm just going to size it up so it's just a little bit larger than the television. We're going to crop some of the edges there. So a little bit bigger even than that right there because now it goes outside those inside uh, portions of the television screen. So now as we play through it, we go to the beginning. It starts out full screen. And as we play along here, it will uh, move out. As the camera moves out, it locks to the television and moves out with it. There we go. So now we just got to do a couple things. We've got to crop the edges here. We're going to create a mat uh, to, to crop the edges of the t TV there. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to create another um, uh, solid off based off that 3D camera tracker there. So I'm going to get rid of the footage for a moment here. Uh, so we go back to the original TV. <coughs> and this is going to be a quick, easy way to do um, a mask to crop it around the edges of the screen here. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, back to our 3D information here, select it, and we're going to find an, uh, very, another plane here. We can actually get the exact same one that we had before if we want. Like right there, I'm going to right click and say create solid. Um, it's already created a camera, so it just creates a new solid there. And there we go. And actually, that one looks like it's kind of a little bit bent, so I'm going to do another one here. Sometimes you have to kind of do this over and over again until you get one that hits flat with the plane of the television. Let me find another one here. Right there looks good. Create solid. That one looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit twisted, but but that'll that'll work there. And if that does look a little weird, we can we can just go down to the um, x-axis, y-axis here, and rotate this thing until it looks like the perspective is right, and get it adjusted uh, where it looks like it's pointing the same direction as the television, and probably right about there, and then a little bit up, and kind of match the perspective of the, the TV. Now that z-axis is pointed right towards you there, so it's like pointed at the same direction as, that, the, as the TV monitor looks to be pointing. Now what we're going to do is uh, make this uh, bigger. We're going to move this over and get it right in the middle there, move it on the uh, x-axis there and get it moved over and make this bigger until it kind of meets the size of the TV, a little bit larger than the TV. Right about there. And what we're going to use this for is a mat. We're going to create a mat to uh, cut out the footage of, of our um, TV footage here, so so it fits the TV perfectly. So I'm going to rename this actually to TV footage. I'm going to go to this track solid here, turn that on. Oh, right now it's a little bit behind the z-axis, which is behind the other thing. Doesn't matter. That that's fine. I'm just going to turn that off right now. Uh, so now I'm going to. Uh, pull this down and we're going to turn the opacity down so we can see the TV behind it. And what we're going to do is use our pen tool and create a mask that's the size of the inner TV screen there where your image is going to be showing. That's what we're going to use as our mask right there. Now one thing you need to do is you need to first of all, this needs to be white in order to uh, mask it properly. Let me turn the opacity back to 100 here so it's solid. Uh, we're going to go to effects and I'm going to grab uh, a hue saturation filter, drop it on this because we want to make this white. And I'm just going to turn the master saturation down to uh, zero so it's uh, desaturated and the lightness up to 100 so it's completely white. Uh, now we've got something, a Luma mat we can track to. Notice this thing attaches to the TV, it stays locked to the TV there. And uh, so now we've got a nice traveling mat there that we can attach our TV footage to. So I'm going to pull this, uh, the TV footage, I'm going to pull down the track mat. If this isn't showing, toggle your switches and modes down here. Um, right down here at the bottom, hit that so it changes to show your track mat on your footage. So we've got this track mat right here on the footage. We've got that white solid above. We're going to tell this to use that white above, that track solid number one right up above it. Uh, as a Luma mat. Click on that and, oops, got to turn on, activate the footage there. So let me show that again. With the footage activated, watch this. I'm going to tell it to Luma track, the track solid above it. 
click on it and it uses that white above to cut it perfectly within the screen there so works pretty well uh, i'm just going to soften the edges a teeny bit so we're going to go down to uh, our mask on our track solid and uh, however we change this mask it's going to change that mask it's going to change how this is masked on the tv footage so i'm going to change my feather there just a teeny bit maybe like four pixels just to soften up the edges a little bit and that's looking pretty good that might even be a little too soft. Um, maybe we can go three. Three on the pixels. And good enough. Okay, uh, now all we have to do to finish this is just add a uh, TV effect to this. As it comes out of the television, we want to make it look like a TV effect. So I'm going to grab um, all three of these items right here, the top items. You need to take the 3D tracker with it. Uh, we're going to make, we're going to pre-compose this and make it into its own solid layer. Um, We'll call this uh, inner TV comp or something. Okay, and it flattens that into a, into one layer there. Uh, but now we can open this up, double click on it. It opens it up and shows all three layers there, and you see this kind of effect all by itself without the TV. Um, now I'm going to add an adjustment layer here. We're going to go uh, layer, new adjustment layer. It's going to put an adjustment layer on top, which will edit everything below. Whatever effects I add to this adjustment layer will. Uh, create the effects for um, below this. I didn't. I didn't want to affect the actual TV environment here itself. That's why I pre-composed everything because I don't. The effect that I added, I don't want to add everything. I just want to add it within the TV. So now you can add a couple things like uh, let's go to warp and do warp effect, wave warp. Let's add that to our adjustment layer. Uh, we're also going to grab noise. We're going to adjust all these things here. Noise. And we'll add noise to this and turn the noise up to like 25 so uh, add some grain to it um, and we're going to mess with the warp here we're going to change the the timing of the warp here uh, let's also grab um, some curves and make it look more contrasty and a little darker as it comes into the TV we're gonna drop that under adjustment layers as well so let's make everything what it's going to look like we're going to Make a, I'm going to kind of exaggerate it here, make a kind of heavy contrast once it comes outside, like that. Um, the noise we set at 25%, we're good there. Let's go to our effects down here under wave warp, and we're going to keyframe our wave warp here as well. Um, so let's, this is just a couple things on the wave warp here. We're going to go, let's see, pinning all edges, uh, so it gets rid of the edges there. And uh, then we're going to go change the phase direction. And you kind of experiment with this. Whatever you want to do to this adjustment layer now to make it look like a TV screen, uh, you can do. Um, so let's warp this a little bit more. We're going to make some wavy warps once it kind of comes into the TV. So right here where it starts coming out, right there where it starts coming out, we're going to have it just do some, a quick wave, and then it will come down to nothing. So let's go. Uh, let's change wave height, wave, wave width wave speed and um, we're going to go back a little bit and we're going to set some new keyframes right there and we're going to have it start at kind of normal zero zero so now it will play into this a little bit and it will go wavy and then we're going to have the waviness kind of leave as it zooms out so let's grab this move it over let's have the waves kind of stop right about there so you see it kind of has that little TV effect for a moment here. There we go. Okay, so we got now we're going to turn these down back down to zero on the effect. And we're going to pick up the, the wave speed in the middle here. Turn the wave speed a little bit. So I guess wavier for a minute. So now what we're going to see, I'm going to put down this, this third quality. So it'll suddenly go wavy you see a little fuzzy wave so it's like it's kind of getting some interference as it comes through the television screen and then it comes zooming out let's carry that effect just a little bit longer so and there we go okay so we've got that wave effect down we've got it keyframed uh, now we're just going to keyframe our entire effect um, adjustment layer I'll take this back we're going to go into transform we're going to turn this completely off and have it kind of turn on right before that wave effect happens so I'll go to the very first keyframe of the opacity layer, turn it down to zero. So now we have no effect. 
Okay, so now this basically transitions to kind of the grainy TV look and the little wave as it comes through the screen. And the effect goes away as it comes out of the screen there. So let's go back to our uh, TV comp and look at this. And there we have the little buzz as it comes to the TV. And there we go. So that's kind of how to do it there. Um, if you have any other questions about this, like I said, under the, the, the comp now, on that adjustment layer, you can add any effects you want to to make this look more TV-ish. Um, but that's basically how to do it. And uh, good luck with it. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.